What is going on everybody? Welcome to part 11 of our Python with PyQt tutorial video series. In this video we're going to be talking about the font picker built in to PyQt. So this is just one of the many widgets that will make your life way easier. So uh, let's go ahead and we're going to add this to the home page and we're going to put it in the toolbar. So after we add here basically we're gonna do this let's move this down and then we're gonna come here and basically we'll keep the same toolbar actually I'll show you uh, something interesting when we change this so let's just copy all of that and we'll paste and we're gonna say instead we're gonna call this font choice and then we're gonna say so this is font choice font choice self dot font choice and um, font here and then here this will be self dot font choice like that I'm probably missing something here besides this um, so this one if you recall this one had a icon a name and uh, obviously self but instead what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the icon part and then we're going to change this to uh, font just like that so you have font choice font choice that's good self dot font choice just making sure I didn't mess anything up. <laughs> self dot toolbar uh, so what we could do is we could either get rid of this toolbar like this and run that so let's go well it's gonna get angry at us because we haven't defined this method yet so let's define that method first so we're gonna come down here define font choice and font choice we just need to pass self and what we're gonna do is uh, we run basically it's this dialog so we're gonna say basically font and valid so this returns to uh, returns two variables basically so it's gonna be qt GUI dot q font dialog dot get font so this is a font dialog and we want to go ahead and get the font so it's gonna pop up both and then we're just gonna ask if valid what do we want to do we're gonna say self dot style choice dot set font font okay so that's gonna what it's gonna do is it's going to uh, if valid self dot style choice at font font um, that should be up style choice here and it will be basically here. So when this goes um, to create that label that we created in the previous video, what it's gonna do is it's gonna use the font that we choose. Um, so that font will change and you'll see what I mean in a, in a bit when we change it so now that we've got font choice uh, coming back up to the very very top here we've got self dot toolbar and all that let's go ahead and run this really quick and we can see okay so we've got uh, some choices here and this is all part of the same toolbar so if we moved it over here font and the little baby come with us whereas what if what if um, what if we close this and instead we said self dot toolbar and we add kind of like this other you know font what happens when we add that well now they're kind of their own little toolbar so I can move the little baby over here but font still stays there and I can move font down you know I can even actually move it over here right there okay so depending on what you want you can either make a new toolbar or you can keep it a part of the original toolbar it doesn't really matter I think it's wise to go ahead and keep the old toolbar but you can do what you want so anyways whenever you click on it up will pop the font picker and we can choose all kinds of font here let's choose uh, let's choose something interesting can we choose wingdings we sure can bold that and put it to 24 BAM so now we've got this massive windows but it's a little too big to fit in the little dimensions that we specified so let's do this so anyway uh, you can run through this and keep changing the font of this label here it doesn't really matter but this is just a quick example of how you can actually change font and what's cool is that uh, you can oh, you can pick all kinds of fonts now can't we awesome ah oh, <laughs> it didn't let us uh, anyway um, so now you have this awesome font picker and like these sometimes like these it may or may not be useful to you it depends on what your application is of course uh, but it's certainly nice to have a font picker at your disposal so this is the font picker is really just one of the major 
uh, things that PyQt is going to give to you. But there are actually some other things that we're going to be talking about really quickly here. There's going to be the color picker, so it's like a color wheel that you can choose from. Also, there is like a nice um, kind of editor widget, calendar widget, and I'm trying to think of anything else that we're going to be showing. Um, Oh, and a file picker. So it's a, it's a way that you can find your files, open them, close them, save them, whatever. Um, so stuff like that. So anyways, that's what we're going to be talking about in the coming video. So stay tuned for that. If you have any questions or comments up to this point, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until next time.